Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli back out here in the shop and I have another great topic for you today. And today we're going to talk about one of the most challenging fishing conditions of all. And it is cold, muddy water. Cold, muddy water. That is like the kiss of death when you're fishing. When you show up to a place, is there anything worse than showing up, looking down, and seeing cold, muddy water? For sure, it's a challenge. But I want to tell you that you can still catch bass in cold, muddy water. You just got to fish a little different. And one of the key things in cold, muddy water that's going to help you catch them and go from zero bites to five bites is color. And in today's shop, I'm here to tell you about the top three colors or color wheels for cold, muddy water. Um, you're going to experience it. Let me start by saying that even if you're a fair weather fisherman, at some point in your life, you are going to run into conditions where that water is dirty, it's muddy, it looks like chocolate milk, it's dirty brown, it's orange. You, you can't see this far down in the water. You can't see an inch or two in the water without the lure disappearing. And then when that muddy water gets cold, it makes it even more challenging, okay? To be honest, the fish can't find the bait. They can't really find it. So they're relying on a lot of stuff in cold, muddy water, right? They're relying on vibration. They're relying on sound. They're relying on scent. There's their use of scent. But they're relying on what's left of what they can see, the color palettes, right? And here they go, man. And I'm going to give them to you uh, in order that I fish them in cold, muddy water. And number one color palette, we can call them color palettes or color wheels because there's not a specific color. It's a range, okay? I want you to keep that in mind as I talk about them. The first one I'm going to give you is my favorite cold, muddy water color palette, color wheel, and it's orange or red, orange or red, or some combination of those two colors. Of every color out there, this one really pops when that water gets dirty. You know, if you don't believe me, go back into the annals of tournament fishing over the years. And a lot of those cold, muddy water tournaments that were won, they had some orange or red in that lure. Even if it's a blade, sometimes it's just a blade Sometimes it's just the belly of a bait, right? It's not always the whole lure. But if you look at tournament history, most of those winners are fishing a red or orange bait. Um, I got a handful here that I wanted to show you that are, are killers when the water's cold and muddy. First one is a spinner bait, and a mullock spinner bait for sure with an orange or a red kicker blade. Uh, this is a little Venator uh, and a half ounce. Um, this is a color called Mud Vein. And if you look at that color, it's got brown, it's got orange, fluorescent orange, and it actually has a copper blade, which is very unusual in spinner baits. But that Mud Vein color, I specifically designed for fishing muddy and cold muddy water, right? So you see the orange. Another favorite, there's a Rapala Rip and Wrap, lipless vibration bait. Once again, I want you to look at the colors of that thing. This one's a color called Red Crawl Dad, but if you look at it, you see the reds, you see the oranges in that color palette, right? Remember, this is a color wheel, but oranges and reds sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, you saw this one, Shad Wrap, bright orange belly, but before I get on to my next color palette, there's the demon 
DT6. How many cold, muddy water tournaments over the years have been won on this? A Bassmaster Classic for sure. Another couple big ones. When the water gets cold and dirty and it's, it's hard to see a lure an inch down, that reddish orange of that DT Demon color really pops, okay? So number one color for cold, muddy water, I want you to look at the color wheel or the palette of reds and oranges. For sure pops in that dirty water. Helps the fish find the lure. Color palette number two. All right. Here it goes. It's my second favorite color in dirty, muddy water. And it is black. Black. A lure that has a lot of black in it. Um, here's a black and blue jig. This is a missile mini flip half ounce jig. It's, it's mainly black. Um, I've got a trailer for that same black and blue jig. This is a little Berkeley, a chunk trailer, black with a little blue flake, but, but mainly black, right? And then I even threw in there just a soft stick bait for you. This is a Berkeley Power Bait General, five and a quarter inch, straight black. Straight black, look at it. No metal flake in it, just black. Just black, and in fact, I'm gonna, I'll thread this trailer on here so you can look at it. If you look at that black and blue jig with that big black trailer on it, black is the perfect color, or lack of color, for cold, muddy water. And the reason is one word, you ready for it? Contrast, contrast. And that black in that Dirty, muddy water. I don't care if it's muddy brown or muddy orange or just silty dirt colored. Black pops, right? It's, it's a solid dark color that when the water's dirty, they can find it. That black bait stands out. It presents a great contrast in that dirty water. Uh, I've got this jig and I can tell you that when the water gets cold and dirty, a lot of fish get really tight to the cover. And if I was to throw a green pumpkin jig by right next to a stump versus a black jig or a black and blue jig with a black trailer next to that stump, which one do you think they're gonna find easier? The black, the black and blue, not the green pumpkin. The green pumpkin is gonna disappear. It's gonna be lost in the mud. That black or black and blue jig right next to that stump, they're next to it anyway. They're gonna see it, they're gonna find it, and when the water gets cold and dirty, you have to appeal to their sense of sight, just like sound and vibration and smell, okay? So my favorite, second favorite color palette, color wheel for cold, dirty water is black. All right, last but not least, um, I wanna talk about my third color palette when I'm fishing Cold, muddy, dirty, snotty, nasty water is chartreuse. And again, let me stress a color wheel or a palette within that color of chartreuse, okay? Uh, again, just a couple of my favorites. I've got two spinner baits. I have a chartreuse in white. This is a Mullix with a Colorado blade on it. This is a water slash. Phenomenal when the water gets dirty because of the chartreuse, but also because of that Colorado blade. Here's a bright fluorescent chartreuse bait by Mullix. This is another uh, Venator. This is a half ounce double willow. This is in a color called Neon Charmer. And look how bright chartreuse those blades are. Man, that really, really stands out in dirty water. And got another one here I threw in. It's a Rapala DT6. Uh, it's in a color called uh, Caribbean Shad. A lot of bright chartreuse on the back. It's got a chartreuse blue back on it. Look at how bright that crankbait is, right? A bright color, ultra bright color. Um, when that water gets dirty, look at that. that. That chartreuse color, even in dirty, cold, dirty water, helps that fish hone in on the presence of the bait. Okay, so a brighter blade, 
something they can see even in muddy water, chartreuse really, really pops. So one other tip I wanna give you is that chartreuse palette, real easy to do on the fly, as is the orange, as is the black. Um, Spike It makes some great products. They make all three colors. They make orange, they make chartreuse, they make black. And you can modify your lure on the fly. Hard bait, soft bait, doesn't matter. Adding that color to a bait to get it into that color palette. Um, listen, cold muddy water, it's the kiss of death, but you can still catch them. Fish are gonna use their senses more in cold muddy water, vibration, smell, sound, but especially sight. Think about those three color palettes when the water gets cold and muddy. Orange or red, number one, black, straight black, number two, and bright chartreuse, number three. Those three colors will help you in cold, muddy water. They'll help the fish find the bait, and that's gonna mean more fish in your boat. Man, I hope you enjoyed this in the shop talking about my top three colors for cold, muddy water. If you like what you're hearing, if you like this stuff, stop right now, hit that subscribe button. You see it sitting down there? Hit that button, subscribe to my channel. We have brand new content every single week. If you're already a subscriber, do me a favor. Tell your fishing friends about Mike Iconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're gonna help them become a better angler each and every week. See you later, stay warm. Try those three colors in the winter. Cold, muddy water, you're gonna catch more fish.